So we've seen in uh, in the Phantom Menace and some of the other movies what it is like to be a Padawan, a youngling Padawan. We've seen Yoda training them, we've seen little kid Anakin. So what we wanted to do was talk about some of the things that we haven't seen in a movie yet. Things like what it might be like to be a Padawan in the Old Republic, or what it might have been like for Luke and Leia growing up. So we haven't seen that yet. But to start with, if you could be any Jedi or Sith's Padawan or apprentice, who would you want to be your master? And don't let the dark, you know, the red lightsaber, you know, intimidate you or anything. <laughs> Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. He's my favorite. Who would you choose? <laughs> I, well, I'd probably choose Qui-Gon for a master. Qui-Gon. Yeah. I know that's who you would choose. I don't even have to ask you. <laughs> Kristen, who would you choose? Qui-Gon. Qui-Gon. Who would you choose? I'm going to go old school with Yoda. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I, I got to go Vader because I am a Sith. <laughs> <laughs> he, is, he is the chosen one. It's true. Um, I have, uh, I have officially decided that if I ever write a book in which I have something akin to a chosen one, he will not be called the chosen one, but that's what we're going to go there. <laughs> um, so we know that in the, in the old Republic days, there were a lot more Jedi, a lot more Sith. Um, there was, uh, they, were, they were more spread out. Uh, less connected to the Republic than they are during the times that we see in the movies. So, if you were a youngling Padawan during that time, how do you think you would be found? How do you think you would be brought into the Jedi Academy or the Sith Academy? Mm. I don't know. I think it'd probably probably be like Obi Wan. They'd find me somewhere and that I get up to where it's time for choosing or having a master choose me and they'd probably be like, eh, we're going to send you off to the farms. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, <coughs> yeah. Well, we know, we know from, from Qui-Gon in The Phantom Menace that they have a way to identify uh, younglings with, uh, that are force sensitive with the capabilities. So, uh, I would imagine that they probably came from a tradition and a uh, um, history of that kind of thing, identifying them. So, some way, either through the Force or through the network. You know, everybody likes the Republic, right? I mean, you live in the Republic, it's a good place to be. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, you're, it's not like the, the Sith uh, Empire uh, or the Galactic Empire where you might be afraid of the people in the room, so you know, it's probably a lot of, hey, you know, my kid's force sensitive or has oh, yeah. these abilities or whatever, so let's, let's try to get him in. Um, now, if I don't know if you guys have played the Old Republic, uh, the game yet, but uh, in that, we see that uh, there is a Sith Academy during the Sith Empire, and they seem to have less of a way of identifying force sensitive kids they kind of strong arm more so uh, the people into sending their force sensitive kids to the to the Sith Academy. I know playing as a bounty hunter at one point in time I'm hired to uh, track down a uh, father who's trying to run away with his son because he doesn't want the son to have to join the Sith Academy. My mother does, she hires me uh, as a bounty hunter to, uh, to track them down and to get her son sent to the Academy. Uh, but in in the Sith Academy, failure means death. So I mean, they're they're pretty harsh there. I, I don't think yeah. the uh, Jedi Academy is no. quite, quite so harsh. I mean, you can look at how Yoda uh, deals with uh, with the younglings there. You know, he's very much more like uh, like a Sunday school teacher. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> yeah. You know, he he's got a, a humor about him. He's got a. a, a interacts with them uh, by, you know, having a little good natured fun at, at Obi-Wan at Obi-Wan's expense. So, Master Obi-Wan has lost a planet. <laughs> what do you think Yoda was like as a young lad? Mm -hmm. 900 years ago, that's a good question. <laughs> that was, I mean, definitely on the public. Absolutely. You know. um, 
what do you guys think? What do you think Yoda would have been like as, as a youngster? He would be smaller? Or? <laughs> <laughs> would he be even smaller? Or, you know, oh, like a tadpole. Oh. Like a tadpole, you think he's amphibious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He'll look so small, he could be. That's yeah, I, true. I can't think he would be very plucky. You know, you know how he's when when uh, he first meets Luke Skywalker, he's mm -hmm. very uh, mischievous and uh, uh, kind of silly. Mm -hmm. That's got to come from somewhere, right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, he's just he's putting true. on an act because he doesn't want Luke to know who he is right off. But yeah, I mean, that's got to come from somewhere. So and and he he seems to really take to the younger kids very well. So mm -hmm. it looks like he came from another planet. Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I think maybe he was very, uh, very energetic and, and uh, uh, maybe even a, a little bit of a prankster before he got his <laughs> Jedi training. <laughs> Probably. Probably be the one going and, undercover somehow. Right. <laughs> right, right, right. Mm. And and who's to say? I mean, maybe he talks the way he does to mess with people. <laughs> you know, his whole life's a big prank. I mean, you know, I mean, surely he could he could adjust his grammar to be like everybody else if he really wanted to. I mean, he's got the intelligence to do so, right? So maybe he just doesn't because you know it kind of messes with people's heads a little bit. So. That's a good point. He does mess with people. Remember, he went and got the cane, and he's hobbling off after fighting the. the oh yeah, yeah. About it. It's like, hey, I got to use a cane to get by, but <laughs> oh, let's you know, Dooku is going to bring it on. I'm gonna, you know, flip and bounce off the walls literally, and and. Uh, uh, just tear him apart. Um, now her, shoot, um, had to do with when they were younger. Yeah, do you think, you were saying something a minute ago about, you know, well, my kids, you know, go to Jedi. Do you think that was like a, you know, a source of pride for people? Or do you think it would have been like, you know, like, can't tell anyone that my child <laughs> is force sensitive, think they were kind of singled out, like, Thought they were weird or something. Kind of like the X Men, like the yeah, the, like the when mutants. you're mutants, you exactly. gotta be sent to the, uh, the special school. Yeah, the, the secret school. <laughs> yeah. I I tend to think not because unlike the the school for Xavier, which has the front of uh, being you know a school for the gifted, you don't really know that mutants go there unless you are on the in, inner loop there. Yeah. Uh, the Jedi Academy is very up front and out there, and people know it's there, it's very visible. The, the Jedi Knights and the Masters are very visible. They're, they're part of the um, they're part of the known galaxy and, and even when uh, little Anakin saw the lightsaber on Obi-Wan, even in this backwaters planet, you know, he's a he has not that much access to information, not that many people coming through. And yet as soon as he saw the lightsaber he knew exactly who yeah, Qui Gon was. So I, I tend to think that you know that it's very common wide knowledge uh, that you know Jedi's are uh, a force. I, I tend to think it'd be a, a sense of pride in the field. Ooh, I think it gets to go off and get the training and whatnot. You guys think so? Would you, would you agree? Or yeah, yeah. another idea? More of a dark side guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think it'd be the other side. I think a lot more people fear. The, uh, the Sith Academy. I think there's a respect for it out of fear, and you've got the people who who want their kids to be, you know, powerful and trained, and they want their kids to, you know, to go to the Sith Academy. But then you have a lot more who are afraid. You know, what if my kid doesn't make it? It could cost him his life. Mm -hmm. or, you know, what is he going to become if he goes to it? So they're going to. I think there's a lot more fear involved with that one, and a lot more force. I, I don't see the Jedi forcing anybody to come join their academy. I think they would strongly encourage him, you know, okay, you know, don't you want him to develop his abilities or her abilities, you know. Uh, but I don't I don't see them forcing anybody to come join. But I think in, in the Sith Academy it's very much more of a uh, you're gonna do it whether you like it or not and <laughs> yeah. either way it fail you're gonna die with it. Right, right. If you get past it be fun. We'll switch gears a little bit to the other main topic that we want to get into. Uh, all right, so we, we've you know seen young, young Anakin, seen Luke and Leia get born, we've seen uh, them in their later teenage years and, mm -hmm. and growing up, and in the 
in the extended universe, I don't know if you guys read a lot of the books, but we've seen them uh, grow up, have families. Uh, you know, Luke and Leia and Han, they all have kids now. Um, and, uh, you know, they're training their kids up in the ways of the Force, and them gone to the dark side and all that. That's the year over there. So we, we kind of know from their later teenage years to, to their uh, adult years, even later adult years, how, what their lives were like. But we haven't really seen much about what it might have been like for them as kids. So what, what do you think? Put yourself in the lives of, let's, let's start with Leia. Put your, put your mind in the life of Leia living on Alderaan. She's a princess. She's part of the ruling house of Alderaan. Uh, what do you think her life would have been like? I think she's headstrong. <laughs> she's probably, I mean, you can tell as a teenager she was, you know. So I think she'd be probably a little unruly, but she she knows what's right to do and seems like she does it, but she probably has a little attitude about her. <laughs> I would think so. Um, yeah, and she didn't know anything about the Force, so I wonder if she did things on accident sometimes, you know, like some of the younglings, I think, before they were chosen with the Old Republic or whatever, they showed some of their Force ability without knowing it. I wonder if she did that. And, you know, that's, that's a really good point because since we don't know right off that Leia is Luke's sister. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't know that. We don't know that she's Skywalker. We don't know if she has any connection.